All right, so it looks like two. So this is now. Now we're in drought period. So, oh, there we go. We can see the water has stopped flowing. The water source has stopped flowing. We're starting to drain out. We're not going to make it, I think, in this batch before the water fully drains out. But you can see we've kind of clogged some of it. So it's stopped it a little bit. Now, the next thing we need to do is maybe see if we're starting to dry up here, but because we're kind of stopped some of this a little bit, oh, here it comes. There we go. Now we're fully dried up. We have 2.4 days. We have some water. Hopefully that'll be enough um, to get us at least close. You can see where the rain's coming. We just have to get close to the point where we'll survive. All right, we do have food in here though, so we should be okay. Um, I'm going to allow as much as we can into here, so we shouldn't have a capacity cap. We're not going to allow books in here, uh, not like we, so we have things like books, uh, explosive gears, gnome chassis, gnome heads, gnome limbs, ooh, that's kind of interesting, real chestnuts, potatoes, and Spattered dock, uh, maple pastries, maple syrup, medicine, metal blocks, paper. So you can see we have a lot of stuff that we need to go and research, and this isn't even part of it. So this is just seeding. It's dried out. It's dying. So potatoes are very particular. Um, darn, our whole potato crop is just gone because we didn't get this dam finished, but it looks like we're going to get that dam finished in time for, for sure next time. This is up all the way priority, so we should be able to get that finished come next time. Now, because we are beavers, this is a natural thing for us to do. It is a wonderful thing for us to do. Uh, that being said, we're in 0.9 days. We should see the water come flowing back here and it's going to take a while to kind of trickle down here yes perfect our dam got complete yes so this is one way that we can get across the river in case we need to come across the river um so now we can start working on this and finishing this which will help our wood situation all right so Hmm, you can see our carrots kind of dying out. That's okay. Um, we'll get this all fixed up in just 0 0.3 days here. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough to save our crops, but we do have food also still in here. We've gone through all of our carrots. We're now going through all of our berries. And it'll take a little while for our carrots to come back. So this is where things are going to get a little dicey. Because now we have to kind of hope that 68 berries for 13 people and 5 kid beavers will be enough. You can see the rains have come back. See the water has started flowing. It's going to take a while to fill out all this area in order for us to get back. But now once it hits our dam, it's going to stop, fill up this reservoir. Good. Our water pumps are going back, which is good. So now we've stopped. It's stopped at our dam. It's going to fill that up. But it's going to go over that spillway, so now we can see that water is up very close to the top here. That's good, that's what we want, because that'll help us with the rest of our damage. Alright, now we're also going to try to unblock this. We're going to try to demolish that, because we're going to try to get some water back into here, get some extra growth area back into here. And again, we can uh, throw a dam on here, but since this is the end of the road, it should hold water pretty well. And it looks like this is deeper than this part over here. So we're going to see if they can demolish that and see what happens. We might need explosives. So we'll see if they can actually demolish that. We're going to see if they can get the uh, forester hut up and going. We're already starting to replant on that first day, so that's good. Unfortunately, that does reset the timer for all these plants. Well, these ones are already at 24. Nice. We do have some berries up here, so I think we're going to be running out of berries here pretty soon. Um, let's see if we can get a path this way. 
and that gatherer's help will only go so far. So let's uh, throw another gatherer's plague over here just to grab these berries. We're going to have to walk all the way back here and then all the way back up, but that'll be, we'll live. We'll be okay. There we go. Alright. Let's get that built. We're probably going to want another water pump, to be honest. I don't think it'll keep up with... There we go. We've got a couple in that capacity. So we may want another water pump. Hmm. Really not a really great place to put this. Kind of wanted that to... Uh, Maybe. Maybe that's just what we do. And then we just kind of connect it with the... Right? Can't get all the... Ah, oh, we need planks. Ah, darn it. Alright. This is where... Uh, this is where this next batch of things kind of happens. Okay. So, water wheels. We're going to do that. It's going to be connected onto this building. Uh, let's see. We are going to also connect this with a gear. Now, I'm going to do a four-way gear because I'm not exactly sure what this intersection might look like uh, when we're done. So just kind of future-proofing ourselves, we're going to just connect that with a four-way gear. This is where our planks are going to land. So we're going to take logs from all the way over here, bring them here. So what actually might end up happening is we might do a forester area over here so we can just process logs right here as we need it. <laughs> That way we can get the planks going. Get the gatherers are going. Because currently what the only thing that's holding us on right now is berries. We have 12 berries. Water is starting to build up. We have our other water pump going on, so that's good. So this is not fully full. We're going to be working on these other two. And once we get these planks going on, we'll be uh, the large warehouse, underground warehouse. Let's get the uh, beaver lodge. So, fun thing about this is I can actually throw this in the water. And it won't take up any room on land. So that's kind of cool. I can also just throw this up against a ledge. And again, it would just count as part of there. So kind of cool. We can just instantly get a little bit more room in our life. And we did get those stairs. So we did get the stairs, so that's good. Um, I might just kind of do one of these and throw some stairs just kind of maybe right hmm. Alright, right here might not be a bad place. I think I need planks for those that though? Uh, I do. So we'll just demolish that for now. So now we have the water wheel. You can see that it's turning. <coughs> now I was going to do that up here, but um, I put these in the lowest priority here, which is why they were really getting confused because they were trying to build this first, but they couldn't because it needs planks. And these were the lowest priority. So that's kind of how that worked. Uh, this water wheel, we're going to get a log here. We need two more logs in order to finish that connection. And then we just need some construction in order to get this going. So we will uh, make this a path. Yoink. 
There we go. And we're almost done with this connection. A couple more logs. There we go. Now we have power. We have one person working it. That's perfectly fine. And then per one log, we get one plank. Makes sense. There it goes. So, problem is, is this water wheel is is uh, based on the fact of how fast the water flows through this direction, right? So, the closer to the middle of the stream, the um, more power is going to be pushed. But this may stop and go depending on how that works. So, I should actually have put this on the other side so then it's constantly flowing through there, but that's okay. We will make it work. So we can do this, we can do one of these, I think that'll work, that should work. So we're going to try to build this before, oh, I need planks, of course I do. Alright, let's see how much this, uh, one out of seven planks, am I able to hold planks here? Planks, planks, yes I can hold planks here. But our capacity is almost reached. So that's also something to consider. And this is a very long way to go here. Hold up. Let's let's save the material here. I like the idea of putting something here so then we can I need dandelion. I don't know what those are for, but that's kinda cool. I like putting something here in order for us to just process the wood right here. Um, so we're going to do one of these. We are going to plant birch trees all along here for as much as we can. Uh, we're also going to plant some pine trees all up through here. Uh, let's go here and then maybe like this chunk. We're going to set this on highest priority. Uh, we are going to get a stockpile of for logs. Bam. We are going to get some housing. Hmm, where should we put that? Should we get a biggie one? Maybe we'll do it on this side. There we go. Save some room. And, oops. Do that. Because I do want this as a walkway here. I think this would be a very good walkway. There's other places that we can actually um, put, like, other contraptions, right? So we can, we have uh, planks, of course, or we have gear workshops, papers, printing press, tapper shack, that's kind of cool. Syrup from trees, that's cool, but we need gears, planks, all sorts of stuff. And then a wood workshop, which gets us oh, a strengthened plank. Uh, we also have metal shops, so scavenger, all that stuff. So that'll be a good part to go here. Um, we might use this as a reservoir. So um, we have a water dump or discharges water. We can discharge water just right into here. Uh, we would probably chop down all these trees in here then in order to do that. But then we'd have a little chunk of water just right into here, which might not be a bad idea to just, uh, yep, let's unlock that. Probably for sure going to do that. Uh, we might make this its own little district, which might not be a bad idea. Then we're not running back and forth, but then we have to figure out, um, uh, let's get the, hmm. 
That's way too much. But we might save up for the large warehouse. Um, because we don't have a good steady supply of planks yet. Hi, kitten. Alright, so these guys are kind of coming up here. Um, I'm actually going to delete this now because there's not really any berries up here to uh, gather. They've pretty much been all down here. Um, we should make the grill so then we can get the potats kind of processed. Potat processing. Potat. And this just needs logged, so that'll be, uh, should be able to be completed pretty quickly. Oh! Ah, I don't want to cut down the chestnuts. Alright. We're pretty much uh, out of cutting trees. Uh, let's move this. We're going to say nope. Uh, we're going to be done with you, so yes. We're going to move that marker to over here. Just kind of need to work on it a little bit, and then it'll be a, a marker that's good to go. So then we can get some stuff getting processed. We're going to finish up these trees here. We're going to probably cut down some of these over here down all the trees because we're beavers and that's what we do. Alright. We're going to let this just kind of regrow here. There we go. And we're actually going to disassociate all this with uh, other stuff. Which really nicely opens up a lot of space for us, just in general. Especially if we're going to sit here and make a lot of food. So like this could be my food making district. This could be my gears and all the other stuff district. That'll be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. On the side of the river, you're going to want... You know what? Should I just make... I have houses. Should I just make this its own district right now? Put the district center, like, somewhere here. And then we will be able to reach this metal. We'll have all this. We'll dump in here, and all this will be fertile, and it'll be good. Uh, looks like we also have another river path. If we can get this exploded... We have another river path that'll follow it down this way too, which would be really cool. Alright, so let's see. We have mechanical pump either in and out. Again, that's really awesome, but uh, large water tanks that need planks. Uh, if I could just get, get one of these things processed, right? Hmm. <laughs> So what's, what's trying to be, let's just, let's think about this. So all this is on hold. Let's just delete you. Yes. And we're going to delete you. Yes. They don't have to think about that. We're trying to get all these done so then we can get this up and going. This will be lowest priority. This is already a thing. Ooh, we're in drought. See, I didn't even notice because that's where our water wheel stopped working. But in order to kind of combat that, we can actually put a hamster wheel right here. So what I want to do is I want to do this. So this uses a little bit more of my wood. So I might just want to just wait until this rain comes back on. But you see, we now have all this held up. I think this needs explosives. So we won't be able to demolish that just yet. <clears throat> Oi, my voice today. 
All right, so that needs explosive. That's fine. We have all this water held. We're going to eventually have a pathway down this way. But because we have no water flowing, we uh, are... Water wheel isn't turning. 